So yeah, we've got our footage in our scene and I might just want to do some slight tweaks to this because it's looking a bit more saturated compared to the rest of the scene. So what you can do is just go media plate and I've got this uh, color grade with range that's enabled here and it's just got some quite simple input elements here. I tend to just give it a little bit of a tweak here, uh, change this gamma. Just really slight adjustments. Some really slight adjustments here. And this is already looking a bit more like it's in the scene. But there's also more. We can also go compositing tone map pass. And perhaps put this up before the keying. And you know this will give us a lot more, uh, a lot more of a vast kind of color grading, just for this one layer, which is really nice. I might actually delete this. And what could be easier is to actually do this on this second talent plane. I'll explain this a little more in another video, but we could use this to actually do some more color grading, which we've got here. I've actually got a color grade with range here as well. So actually removing that is making it seem a little bit better for this example. So you know perhaps something like that and just really slight tweaks can do a lot. I'm not going to I'm not going to go too deep into uh, the fine details of color grading but that's just where you would find some of the color grading stuff. So you can do the color grading in this first media plate, or you can do it in this second media plate. These transform passes are just effects for these layers. So that's now looking a bit brighter and fits into the scene a little bit better. Uh, but there's more stuff we can do down the line. But for now, let's look at uh, just finishing off this customization by swapping out this desk and just showing you about these masking elements and things. So let's go into that in the next one. Cheers.